Marv Abbey. I played Matthew in the Iraqi American film Pomegranate. Well, uh, for me, um, hearing that a film was going to be related and based on, you know, my Chaldean culture, uh, it was very exciting. Um, and then when I did a little bit of research uh, with the director and writer, um, you know, seeing her experience and accolades, uh, it excited me to, you know, hopefully be a part of the project. Um, I had a priest friend of mine, <laughs> Father Andrew, he, uh, he told me he got us in touch. Um, I had an initial audition and then um, I don't know how long we even went past after that initial audition, but I randomly got a call and uh, was like, hey, we want to do kind of a chemistry read and uh with the lead actress and and we hit it off had a great chemistry read with her and and uh here we are i think it has a lot of importance i mean you know every culture wants to have representation uh especially in, in a medium like film so uh with the iraqi uh culture uh whether it's from you know, the Muslim side or the Christian side with uh, Chaldeans specifically, um, you know, having that representation and seeing us on screen is just always an incredibly uh, wonderful and inspiring thing for uh, others to see. So for me to be a part of that is a, is a blessing and um, I'm thankful. Uh, it's been an incredible journey. Well, interestingly enough, um, for me, you know, <laughs> A lot of times you'd see this uh, smile or uh, kind of the exuberant or, uh, you know, uh, extroverted self. Um, but a large part of me is the, you know, introverted, introspective, the person that, you know, relies a lot on intuition, emotion. And, um, and so, um, although that side might not be the side that most people will see, um, the loved ones and especially in a relationship um, with someone that I might be close to or getting close to, that is um, the part that Matthew is, you know, kind of more exclusively. So I got to be, um, I got to delve a little bit deeper into that side of me that, you know, really is, might be a little bit more shy, might uh, have, you know, really just the thoughtful, the the kind, the really just, you know, care for someone and, and really want to connect with uh, with uh, with a woman in, in a way that, you know, is beyond just the, um, the outside. So it was incredible. I mean, not just playing my role, um, but, you know, working with the cast and crew, we had so many laughs and... Uh, um, just such a brilliant time, just overall, just incredibly talented people, um, fun people to work with. Um, can't say enough, you know, we, we just, uh, you know, um, <laughs> I see, uh, you know, Ish for the first time. I'm like, I'm like, man, this is like a carbon copy of me, younger, younger and better looking, you know? <laughs> no, but, um, I love, you know, I loved everybody on set, uh, including, you know, uh, we, um, Sam, the cinematographer and, you know, we had such a great, great chemistry, you know, um, anytime you're on an indie film, uh, you're going to have, um, it's going to be shooting by the seat of your pants sometimes, you know, where you want to get the next shot. You want to, um, make sure that you get everything. And the beauty of that is, uh, you know, you can have a little bit more wiggle room to be, you know, express your creative self. Um, and then also to, um, you know, work closely with the creative, with the creatives to try to make something that's going to be great instead of kind of being pigeonholed. Um, an example for that for me, um, you know, there was a scene, um, I don't even, I, I, I'm pretty sure I didn't tell Weam this, but, um, you know, um, there was a scene where I'm just supposed to be, um, kind of be introspective, kind of thinking about this incident that happened. And, um, there was no, no dialogue for me, but, um, just so happened that the day before, uh, I was reading, a, an article and about Jack Nicholson <laughs> and about how he, 
um, throughout his career, he, he was telling um, Matt Damon this when they did The Departed. And he would tell him that, you know, hey, Matt, I would go in there and he'd, he'd write his own dialogue for scenes like, like that, where there wasn't any dialogue, but he'd um, create some that would be, uh, that would fit perfectly within the scene, within the context of the scene, the context of the film, and, um, and also not add any cost to the set, any cost to the, you know, or any, or add any time to what the that take would have would have uh would have been done would have been doing so i uh you know that's just a god just kind of being like hey all right you know what try it <laughs> so um right before this scene i or earlier in the day I, I had written um something that i thought would fit really well and um you know ended up uh running it by them and making sure with Viam that it was something that she thought could fit well and um, ended up performing it, and that's that creativity that you can do in an indie film. I'm, I'm not Jack Nicholson, so, you know, to be able to have that opportunity to, you know, uh, try something like that is, is a, a blessing, so.